This is Brittany Porter with NSU TV. A luxury movie theater is being built down the road from NSU's Broken Arrow campus next year, along with quality retail establishments and restaurants that will comprise the shops at Aspen Creek. The movie theater will have its own restaurant, bar, full-service balconies, and 14 screens. Broken Arrow Mayor Craig Thurman says his experience in land development definitely helped him make the right decision. I so 33 years uh, in construction in Oklahoma and California. I learned a lot about how developments work and what works and what doesn't work. So I, I really understand when a developer comes in, whether you know, the facts are giving us are, are actually uh, very doable or whether they're not. And so that way I can help make a good decision for the city on whether we go forward with a project or we support a project or whether we don't. The $60 million development will be built off the Creek Turnpike in southern Broken Arrow, made possible by the newly completed Aspen Avenue interchange. It will be a, a place for people to go that's close to NSU and entertain and shop, so that's really something that's very much needed in that area. Groundbreaking for the project is slated for March or April of next year. This is Brittany Porter with NSU TV. NSU's Broken Arrow campus is taking part in Governor Mary Fallon's Feeding Oklahoma Food Drive. Susan Tilkin with the Community Food Bank of Eastern Oklahoma explains why it's especially important to give this time of year. Uh, as a food bank, we're happy for all of our donated food. Uh, the need is up, uh, generally speaking, a couple different times during the year, not only during the, high, uh, during the holidays time with uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And that's, that's in large part because of a couple factors. The, the, the Christmas time frame, if you think about it, a lot of kids are out of school for more than two or three weeks at a time. So that's breakfast and lunches that they would normally be receiving at school that they are now not receiving because of the Christmas holiday. Relatives visiting over the holiday can also be an additional burden. Bins are located in each building on campus where canned food donations can be dropped off until November 15th. For more information, contact the Student Affairs Office in Broken Arrow. Northeastern State University Broken Arrow held their annual Fall Festival Thursday, October 25th from 5 to 8 in the Administrative Services Building. This year's theme was Hawk's Pumpkin Patch. NSU students, faculty, and of course the community were welcome to attend the event for free. NSU TV caught up with Dr. Allison Watson, associate professor at NSU, to see her take on this year's community festival. We've had a good turnout. We see some really cute outfits and costumes. There's Snow White over there, so I think it's a, a wonderful outreach. Food, carnival games, and even a hayride were offered at the event. The collaboration of many organizations within NSU goes into putting the festival on every year, and it will continue as a way for NSU to give back to the community for years to come. This is Brittany Porter with NSU TV. This is Brittany Porter with NSU TV. We're here at the Broken Arrow campus for NSU's Fall into Tulsa Fashion Fashion Show. The show was put on in the auditorium of the Broken Arrow campus as part of NSU's fashion retail management class. The students, charged with organizing the event, recruiting models, and achieving participation from local retailers, ultimately chose the Tulsa Area United Way as the show's proceeds recipient. NSU TV caught up with FRM classmate Mike Puglisi to find out what he thought of this year's show. It's usually a 16-week class, but this was an eight-week class. It was kind of, time was cut in half, and uh, I think it went extremely well. It was very profitable. We did better than we did last year, and uh, you know, I think everything kind of went smoothly. This year's class beat last year's show by $300, with a grand total of $2,400. This is Brittany Porter with NSU TV. This is Brittany Porter with NSU TV. We're here at the Broken Arrow campus for NSU's first World War II symposium. The symposium began October 2nd and will run through November 6th in the Administrative Services Building every Tuesday from 6 to 8 p.m. Dr. Linda Wilson began organizing the event in March locating veterans from all over Oklahoma. They were riveters, they made the planes, uh, they were carrying guns, they were in the, in the ships or in the infantry, but, but we have them coming to tell their stories. Tickets are still on sale and can be purchased by calling Continuing Education at 918-449-6000, extension 4610.
General admission is a one-time fee of $30 for all event nights, $27 for students, and $15 for seniors. The symposium will be shown for free on the Tahlequah campus October 23rd and November 6th through NSU's ITV services in the College of Business and Technology building, room 220. This is Brittany Porter with NSU TV, and we're here at the Broken Arrow Campus's Second Century Trail, a place where you can come work out and enjoy the outdoors all at the same time. Second Century Trail, which includes exercise stations and seating, was open to the public last year. The Nature Trail connects to the Tulsa Trail System and will take you through Tulsa all the way to Sand Springs. Broken Arrow resident and avid runner Jesse Weevil said she had no idea the exercise stations were even here. I actually didn't know that the workout equipment had been installed. I usually just go across the street and run the trails because uh, it's close to my house. But actually, this workout equipment is a lot closer than the gym, and the weather is getting pretty nice. So I am surely tempted to come out this evening, in fact. <laughs> a disc golf course is also available, and you can rent discs for free at the Student Affairs Office during normal business hours. Be sure to keep on the lookout for bicycle rentals coming soon. This is Brittany Porter with NSU TV. This is Brittany Porter with NSU TV, and we're here at the Broken Arrow Campus's Student Affairs Office, your one stop shop for Tulsa area entertainment. Many students may be unaware that Tulsa Zoo, Cinemark, Tulsa Ballet, and Tulsa Opera tickets are available at discounted prices at the Broken Arrow Student Affairs Office. Ballet and opera tickets are available to any student, faculty, or staff member with an NSU ID two weeks prior to the event. Tulsa has a really great arts center, and not many people know that. Um, and so since there is great ballet, there is great opera, you should definitely take advantage and experience it. Zoo and cinema tickets are available to students throughout the year, as well as free admission to the Philbrook Museum. Tickets can be purchased with cash or check at the Administrative Services Building, room 130 in Broken Arrow. This is Brittany Porter with NSU TV. This is Brittany Porter with NSU TV, and we're here at NSUBA's National Day of Service and Remembrance. This year, volunteers at the Broken Arrow campus clean the trash and debris from NSUBA's Adopt a Mile as their honorary service. After meeting at the Business and Technology Building flagpole at 2 p.m. for check in, instructions, and supplies, volunteers were on their way. I can't think of a better way to honor them than through community service because that's exactly what took place on that day. Nearly 400 NSU students participated on the Broken Arrow and Tahlequah campuses last year, a number Lansford says she is hoping to surpass. Service projects in memory of the victims initially kicked off in 2002 with My Good Deed, and in 2009 Congress officially designated September 11th as a National Day of Service and Remembrance under bipartisan federal law. This year marked the 11th anniversary of the attacks.